Hey ladies, I thought I'd hop on and show you a eyeshadow combination I recommended to a family member. I She asked for some recommendations, I gave them to her and then I thought, well, instead of just saying, here, take this, figure it out, I thought I would quickly show what to do with it. So I recommended Sabrina and Philly and Lullaby and You Complete Me. Those are great colors that you can mix match and do a bunch of different things with. This is outer corner Philly transition color is You Complete Me Everywhere and then Sabrina in the brightening areas. Um, I also do a quick hack and if you want to skip to the end with the eyeshadow or watch the whole hack, hack means highlight and contour, um, join me. I hope you find something useful out of this video and have a great day. Thanks. So here we go. So how we start with everything now that we can be outside is sunscreen. I just ordered Super Goop uh, sunscreen primer, kind of all in one from Sephora. Uh, I will post the link of that because there's like three or four of them and I couldn't decide till I did a bunch of investigating. So to save you the time, I'll post that. But it's $45 and I haven't got it yet. So I have been using Cetaphil. It's great for sensitive skin and it's SPF 50. Um, it works pretty good with my makeup. I haven't had any troubles, but I know some people didn't love it. So if you are not going to use anything because you're like, I'm not spending $45 on sunscreen, try the Cetaphil. It's 15. I put this on the kids. Um, it's so important. I'm going to get that taken care of after the summer because there is no point in getting that removed. Of course, it can come back, if, especially if you have a lot of sun exposure. So that is my fall thing of getting that removed and taken care of. So I'm going to let that sink in for a minute. You should always let your moisturizer sink in. Put on your moisturizer, your sunscreen, whatever you are putting on, and then go make your coffee or go put get dressed or do whatever. You got to give it a few minutes to really set into your skin. Otherwise, it will react funny with your makeup. So I'll be right back in two seconds. I'm back. More than two seconds, but that's okay. So, so I had a friend or family member ask for eyeshadow suggestions and I thought, gave her the suggestions of my favorite colors that I think work really well together. And then I thought, well, here you go and then see you later. So I kind of want to help her and help you if you have these colors where you, what you can do with these colors and where to pop them. So what I suggested was Philly. It's very close to Coco or Rigoletto or Finn. A nice base brown. Everyone should have one brown eyeshadow. I have like all of them, but that's my problem. But I Philly is my favorite because it's not too dark and it's not too light. So it's a great brown. Sabrina, everyone should have Sabrina. It's my favorite. It's the most used eyeshadow I have and it goes with everything. It's not too pink. It's not too white. It's awesome. And then we have Lullaby and You Complete Me. These are fantastic colors. I think everyone should have at least one matte and one shimmer. Matte is really great to put in your crease because it pushes things away and creates more depth. And also the skin in here, I don't wanna say wrinkles. So it starts getting really delicate and fine. And if it's a little bit crinkly or has any texture, shimmer will really pronounce that. So if you use a matte with no shimmer, it will push things in. Looks like you don't have as much texture going on. The shimmer, if you, I'm not saying you can't use shimmer everywhere, but shimmer should really stay more on the lid and more in there. If you have a lot of crepiness or lines going on, you might want to stay away from putting your shimmer colors in that kind of area. But it's not like you can't, you know, just if you want to hide things, that's how you hide things. So matte is really great for, for hiding texture and the light colors are really great for the inside and right there creating that larger looking eye, which promotes looking more youthful. Okay, so I'm going to start with my hack. Um, if you are new to Saint, Saint is a cream based foundation, meaning it's not full of alcohol and parabens and all the kinds of garbage that is can be really damaging to your health and dry out your skin. Why would you want to put something on your face that pulls the moisture from your face when moisture is what makes your skin appear more youthful and glowing? 
That's why this stuff is fantastic. These tins are magnetic. You can customize your own thing and pick the colors you want instead of buying a, you know, an eyeshadow pack for $60 and you only like two eyeshadows. This way you can customize whatever you want and they're magnetic and you can pop them in and out. It's pretty cool. You can put bobby pins and all kinds of stuff in there. So what a hack is, is highlight and contour. So when I say I'm going to do a hack, I'm going to do a quick hack. So I'm going to quickly highlight and contour everything. Everything you need for your face is in here. This dark color is your contour. It can be your eyeshadow, your brow filler, and also your lip liner. It's triple duty. And then your main colors, you're going to have two highlights. One that's your main color and one that's a brightening highlight. And that's going to give you that really youthful glow, that brightness in your face that everybody wants instead of, you know, feeling all haggard and tired. It will bring that youthfulness. And since it's cream, it's going to condition your skin. And I've even had some people say that their fine lines are reduced more because their skin is more hydrated and more moisture to their skin. Now, I ha if you have to color correct, if you have any gnarlies like that, um, mango highlight, it's in the highlight section because some people are actually this color. They're quite tanned. Um, mango is kind of my color corrector. So instead of putting the lighter color on all of the things we're trying to hide, do you wear white pants when you're feeling a little, you know, not skinny that day? No, you wear black pants. You go darker. So when we are going to cover something up, we use a darker color. Like that spot is gone. It's fantastic. It's wild. And I have other few friends. There we go. Just going to spot treat or spot correct with this mango. And also I have a little bit of darkness going on. So I'm going to just put that there. And let that warm up. I'm using very, very little and let that warm up and just pat into that eye area and already it's brighter. It's crazy. Any other spots? I could have a bunch. Let's see. I refuse to give up sugar. There we go. All right, now that I've put mango on all those gnarly spots, if you are a little bit darker and sandy, you might need maybe a darker corrector, but that's why you send me a bare face selfie. I will not show it to anybody, I promise. And color match you and get you those colors that you need and you'll be on your way. It's so easy. All right, now I'm going to put my contour on. You can use your finger, you can use your multitasker brush, you can use your detail hack brush. There's no right or wrong. When I'm in a real rush, I usually end, end up using my fingers or the multitasker brush just because it's quick and easy. So I'm gonna use the multitasker brush and do a couple dots across the forehead. Don't be afraid. You kind of, whoops, like this, you do that. That can be all contour, okay? Don't worry. When you're first starting, I see one or two little dots and people are really intimidated or scared. It will all blend. Trust me. You can use, it won't be too dark. I'm going to show you a really dark one that I use all the time and it will blend. Indigo. We'll use that one today as well as this one. If I can get it on my brush. There we go. Because it will all blend into your skin. I promise. top of the ear and just hug that cheekbone. Don't go down too low. If you're down towards the corner of your mouth, you are going to actually pull your face down and make it look droopy. We're trying to pull things up. It's like a little mini facelift. There we go. You can do that extreme or you can do just a little bit when you're first starting like that. Whatever you want, it's going to create that shadow and it's that's the difference between, people have asked me, the difference between bronzer and contour. Bronzer has a lot of light reflecting properties in it, gold little flecks and all, whatnot, and it's very warm. And that is going to pull things forward and catch the eye and light reflects off that. A, a contour is a very cool color. It's flat and it's dull looking because Coolness will push things away further away and create that shadow and hide things. 
So that is the big difference between bronzer. Don't use bronzer to contour. Trust me. I'm going to do a line just underneath the jaw because that cool color is going to make my um, neck chiseled and create that shadow and more defined. And I'm using the second dark color, darkest color we have and it's going to work just fine. Now, like I said, you can use your contour color for your brows. I'm going to use olive. Um, right now, I'm kind of a warm, gingery blonde, and olive is really nice for redheads or bl warm blondes. If you're like a redhead, redhead, um, stone is really, really warm. Um, I don't have that one yet. I should probably get into that one and see what that looks like. Honestly, you don't need to do much, but I find mascara and brows, they just frame your face and make yourself so much more awake. Just if you're not a real brow filler, or you're afraid. I mean, I don't want to look, go look like I've got a jiffy marker on my eyebrows either. I don't want that either. But just a few strokes will make a huge difference and really define that eye area and just it just makes a huge difference. Give it a shot, you guys. And you already have your contour already. You don't need to go out and buy a pencil. That's what makes this great, is that you can use everything to do everything to do everything. It's awesome. And since I got some left over, I'll line my lips. I even got some left over from my multitasker brush. Super careful there, as you can see. And I like to do a little dent right there. Just kind of creates a bit more shadow and make that fuller lip. Now that's your contour and I look crazy and that's okay because I know it's going to turn out. Now I go to my main color and I'm going to use that same brush and just wipe a little excess off if there is any, not really. So there we go. And I'm going to dip into my main color, which is candlelit. I sometimes use a darker color sandy too if I'm a little bit tan. That's what's great is that sometimes, you know, in June when I have a bit more summer color, I'm too light. Too dark for candlelit, but too light for sandy yet. I'll take a dab of sandy and a dab of candlelit and make my own color. And it's only 20 bucks a tin, unlike 60 bucks for, you know, you're in between two colors and you got to buy two foundations. That's a crazy amount of money. And this way you can do what works for you. Totally customizable. Not everybody is one shade. Everybody is different. And that's what makes this makeup great is that you can customize it for you. Love it. Okay, and then a couple dots across. So it'll go from dark, light to lightest. Now, since I've already put a bit of mango on here, um, you can't just rub around. You want to pat on top of that. If you have a lot of lines or bags or little extra luggage in that area, you don't want to put your brightest color of those lines that's going to really highlight things so you might want to put your main color on any of those areas and then just put your brightest color in the center because the lighter the color it'll actually show off your line so it will be better if we can put those brightest colors in strategic places instead of everywhere under this little triangle here and then make things actually look worse so it's a learning curve but we'll help you, I will help you, I'll tell you where to put things, and you're gonna feel fantastic. So that's the main color. Now my brightening highlight, I'm gonna take linen and just pop that there, and pop that there. Oh, that's a lot there. I can actually take that and put that there. It's cream, so it's not gonna dry out. I could sit here for an hour and then blend it in. That's how amazing this stuff is it just moves with your face it doesn't dry out um, and then you're stuck you know with a big mess or whatever it's constantly moving with your face I, that's what I love about it it's not it doesn't feel like a mask so look how much that's gone how far that went there we go and I like for a little bit a dot there and a dot there so this is your brightest color that bright triangle and I always put a little bit on my lids. I just kind of blend it in because it's a really great base for your eyeshadow. Now you can put your lip and cheek on 
super easy, but if you are blending, you can accidentally take your lip and cheek and put it onto your eyebrows. So I kind of do it last, but if you're in a rush, just a couple dots everywhere and blend it in. That's totally fine too. You can do it, whatever you want, but there's no rules. It's fantastic, which works good for me. Okay. So I just blend that into my eyelids and then start with the brightest color and work your way to the darkest, if that makes sense. And with the eye area, I take the bl blush and bronzer brush. You get this with a duo with a bronzer and you save $15. This is probably my favorite brush. These two are my favorite two brushes in the world. The eyeshadow brush. I was never really a confident person with eyeshadow, but this turned me how I feel. I'm definitely not as good at eyeshadows as some other people, but I feel like an eyeshadow ninja. And if you think you're going to fail, you're going to fail. If you think you're going to do great, you're going to do great. And this eyeshadow brush really helps me create a lot better eyeshadow looks. There we go. So this, I'm just patting in here. If you smush, if you've already color corrected and put mango on, you're going to smush colors around and it might not work so well. So just pat. And you want to be delicate in this area anyways, because it's all that sensitive, really thin skin anyways. So just be gentle and delicate. There we go. We blended that out. I leave my contour last. If you are feeling that you don't see it you're maybe blending it too much so try to just keep it where it is but just kind of blend it but not over blending you'll get there don't worry you're like this is too hard trust me i've had people just whip out whip it out of the box try it and they're like i couldn't believe how easy it was and it is you can do this i will help you if you're not sure just ask pull that into your hairline i love to help do you see? It's blended in. It's awesome. It's not these crazy brown marks all over my face. So I'm just pulling up a little bit. Don't pull down, but pull up that little bit. And it just creates that little bit of shadow. Looks like I have cheekbones. And that, like I said, like that indigo, that's the second darkest color we have. So don't be freaked out when I've sent you Astoria or ash or any of these colors that look scary dark, don't worry, it will blend. You can pull this down. You can pull your contour and your neck down. That's the only thing, go downward motion. Otherwise, everything is a, a sweeping up motion. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I have my main foundation on. Now I'm just gonna pop on my lip and cheek color. I have been loving Frenchie lately. I was matched with Frenchie day one and I never got it because I was like, meh, it's kind of not awesome. But I was wrong. Kelsey knows what she's talking about. Frenchie is awesome. So I'm just gonna pat in there and don't put it on the fleshy cheeky part. Bring it up, kind of the corner of the eye. And it is just a beautiful color for summer. The fantastic thing about this is you can also use it as eyeshadow. So you don't need to buy a ton of things to have all the things you need, if that makes sense. Your lip color will lip work as eyeshadows. Your contour can also work as a brown eyeshadow. Um, your bronzer can work as a lip and eyeshadow. You can get away with so many things. I do like using a setting powder. If you're going to use your lip and cheeks for eyeshadow, I do like using a bit of a setting powder just to set that in because it has a lot of cream and it can crease. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I am going to use my bronzer and we'll work on the eyeshadow. And you take that bronzer and you sweep it right into your bronzer and don't stick it in there, jam it in there. You just want to sweep across anywhere the light would hit you and always the neck. So you don't have a white neck and a bronze face, right? And I can 
and go like this. I absolutely need mascara and eyeliner. So I'll be right back after I do that. Okay, I put my mascara on. I find it weird to show people putting mascara on. I make weird faces. Okay, so this is just Frenchy Lip and Cheek Bronzer, my main highlight, my brightening highlight, and a contour. I haven't even used my illuminator and I'm already glowing. I love it so much. And I didn't even put a lip and cheek on yet. Um, I like Frenchy, but I like Frenchy with a little gloss on top because it is a matte color. It's not like shiny, which makes it possible to use it as an eyeshadow. If you go into the glosses, you can't really use those for eyeshadows. So I just put a gloss on top. Oh, black cherry, black cherry. Let's do black cherry. It looks scary, like black, but it is a beautiful shimmer. It's great. You can just keep it in a little tin in your purse, pop it open because they slide and pop that on your lips. It's super handy. Okay, so this is just four to five tins. Your bronzer, your main highlight, your brightening highlight, and a contour. And I haven't, and your lip and cheek. You can go with an illuminator to even make yourself more bright eyed. We have creams and we have powders. Creams are more natural, they're more dewy, they blend into your skin a bit nicer, a more natural look. Um, we also have powders, which I'm going to use today, and I'm going to use Starlet. It is so pretty. It's got like, it's awesome. I feel like that's what unicorns probably look like. So I'm just gonna pop that in that eye area. And you can use the illuminators as eyeshadows, cream ones or powdered. That's what's fantastic. You can use everything for everything. So you could just go like that. Use your illuminator and a little bit on your brow bone, right there. And that really brightens things up even with that. And always a little bit right you can head her out like this but we're gonna keep on going because I'm going to show Fawn what to do with these eyeshadows she's picked out I'm going to take my brush also and grab that illuminator and just sweep across one move starlet so pretty okay so like I said Sabrina lullaby you complete me and philly so many things you can do if you just want one color quick you can't handle a lot of stuff in the morning you don't want to do it but you want something you complete me all over the lid beautiful it's fantastic um if you feel like you want to do a bit more do you complete me lullaby or philly one of those colors in the crease to have that matte dark more depth and then Sabrina in the corner. I'll show you that right now. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is take You Complete Me and kind of just put that all over kind of the main lid, outer th half or outer third. There we go. Like you could just do that. Isn't that pretty? You Complete Me it reminds me of Jerry Maguire movie. There we go. And it is a great color. It's great for anyone with brown eyes, green eyes. I love this with blue eyes. It's got a little bit of a peach to it. And that is the complementary color for blue. But it makes green eyes pop too. Then I take my tile. These are new. It just helps brush off that excess color. And make sure that you get more crisper lines. Because then your colors on your brush are not mixed together. If that makes sense. So I just get a little brush of that. And then I'm going to take... Let's go with Philly today. And I take my eyeshadow everything brush and just the bottom half of that and I kind of tap it back into the color. If you don't, they're very pigmented and then you'll get fallout and you'll have like eyeshadow sitting here, which with regular makeup, you're it's hooped. You gotta wash your face and wash it off. This stuff will just brush off, but still why bother, right? And so with your eye open, just Stick it right there so you can still see it. If you close your eyes and put it right in that corner, it'll be open up and it won't be there, right? So you want to still be able to see it. You want to put it right 
under that brow bone. And that just gives that bit of depth. And you see where I'm holding the brush? The end. Don't do that. That, I don't know why, it just doesn't work as good. So a little bit in the bottom corner too, bottom lid, outer corner, outer third, I'd say, if you're going to cut your eyelid in half for the people that are more like math-minded and need uh, absolute perfect directions, it's kind of me. So the outer third. And then really lightly, the more you blend, the less intense it will be and looks super natural. You don't want to go below this eye, it'll uh, corner of your eye, it'll actually make things look smaller. So if you're going down here with your eyeshadow, your eyes are going to appear smaller. And if you want, you can take a little bit and drag under the eye. Uh, so try your eyeshadow. There we go. Pretty good. If you have any fallout, just take your brush and you pull that upward. Perfect. So that's just you complete me and Philly. And then, oh, clean that off. We're gonna take Sabrina. I like using my finger. And just bringing it outward from the center, outward. And then you can just sweep that and blend that. I like taking the pointy end and just bring that under a little bit and that creates a brighter eye. And a little bit right there. Perfect. Love it. So that's super easy. I'm gonna do this side super quick too. So I'll take the, you complete me again. I think I put it on this side already, but I'll just add a bit more. There we go. I did, didn't I? And take Philly, bottom half of that brush, just stick right you can still see it and then kind of push it into that crease i'm not lifting it off it's honestly still touching my lid i'm not taking it off my lid at all it's just circular motion still touching the skin so i think if you take it off and flick around you'll have like shit flying everywhere if that makes sense so don't lift it up just don't pull it off your skin you just kind of like I'm not even careful, I'm just giving her little swirls. There you go. And then drag that a little bit under here. Or if you don't feel confident doing that, you can use a smaller end. You can turn any of your eyeshadows into eyeliners by using our stay spray or I you know some girls even just use water and put their eyeliner on that way. Just wet their brush a little bit with the stay sprayer water, dab it into the corner of their eyeshadow, and turn that into an eyeliner. Okay, so I'm going to take my finger, Sabrina, I want a little bit more of you complete me on the lid. Anything goes. Perfect. Okay, and I kind of went a little high there, went a little western. Take that Sabrina, put it right there, and maybe there too. Try to make it even. Clean my brush with my tile. Know what I'm saying? See what I'm doing. Okay, and pull in that way and just blend, and get there. And then pull from the inside out that way. Perfect, guys. Pretty even, I'd say. But that is just the three colors. And then if you want to, you could use Lullaby instead of fin, uh, instead of Philly. Uh, you could just use yellow Lullaby and Sabrina. Those colors go so well together. I love those colors. And then just pull that forward a little bit. Blend. There we go. I don't even have any eyeliner. If you want and you feel like you need that eyeliner, go right ahead. I just put a second coat of mascara. Always a second coat. I use two different kinds. I don't know why. I seen it on a TV show once where she didn't care what kind of uh, mascara you use. Just use two different kinds. They just react with each other differently, separate, and make it look like you have a fuller 
lash line. So I always do two different kinds. Um, I'm going to pop some eyeliner on. No, you know what? I'm just going to put some more mascara on. Oh, you guys, it's so easy. You can do this. If you even have eyeshadows that are not Saint and you're wondering what to do with them because you got an eyeshadow here or whatever, if you just need help with combinations, that's what I'm here for. I love it. It's so much fun. Um, and I just want you to feel beautiful and confident. And with this makeup, it will do that. Anyways, if you have any questions or need a color match, just send me a message and we'll hook you up and set you up. And the best part of it is you order it, you don't like it, you can send it back. That's what I love about it because I am a very apprehensive person and I buy something and I'm freaked out about it and I don't return it and then it sits under my counter. I have returned a few eyeshadows. I have returned a couple lip and cheeks I didn't like and I didn't feel that bad about it and it was super easy. So this is a no risk, no worry purchase and yeah, I hope you love it as much as I do and I hope you have a great day.